Hello and welcome to today's video where I am going to be showing you the entire process of how to get a nuclear program going in Hearts of Iron 4 for any country whatsoever. So this is assuming that you have no nuclear tech or anything available, so I'm going to start from the very beginning and show you exactly what you need to do. So first things first, you're going to go up here to your research slot and you're going to get some technology. First under warhead and nuclear uh, technology, you're going to need nuclear warheads, which is this line right here and nuclear reactors, this line right here. Next thing you're gonna need is under your ballistic missile technology, which is this one, intercontinental ballistic missile, and you're gonna go down this little middle line right here, get as high a level as you possibly can. After you've done that, you're next going to build some nuclear reactors. So you're gonna go ahead and, I have the uh, instant construction console uh, command on so that's why they're instantly building just so we can go ahead and get through the video a little bit quicker and not spend an hour showing you this so after you have some nuclear technology or sorry nuclear reactors I'm just gonna go for today so it registers you're gonna go here under this little missile icon up top you're gonna click the nuclear policy window right here and you're now presented with this little menu down here you're going to need to produce HEU technology or nuclear material, but unfortunately you can't yet. So what you're going to do is under here, you're going to click nuclear energy and you're going to scroll down to secret nuclear program. This is going to allow you to now select HEU. So this is going to be basically producing your weapons grade uranium, which the stockpiled number is going to be here. You're going to increase this to whatever amount of your civilian industry you want dedicated to actually enriching uranium. You might want to start out with a high number in the very beginning to get a good stockpile going, like as high as you can go, for example. So let's just say 10% would probably be a good area. Well, let me bump it up actually to 20. That way we're getting 23 a day. And then just wait because this is just an auto system where it'll just automatically every day I'm going to unpause it. You can see it just starts doing it, it starts saving up the nuclear material. So what we're going to do next is while the game's going and we're saving some nuclear material up, we're going to go under missile production. You're going to go under your whichever technology you want to do, but if you want to do the nukes, you need ICBMs. So you're going to click this right here. You're then going to pick whatever your best ICBM is and you have two number areas here this one right here is how many civilian factories you want on the production to build the nuclear weapons so let's go with 20 and this is how many nukes you want to build you can see it'll take 16 days so we're going to go ahead and start producing it now here's a problem i see a lot of people who want to be nuclear power countries and multiplayer games on here start out building like 30 right off the bat and that's not a good idea you see that we're already down to seven days. I've paused it because I need to show you all this. If you go to war and you cancel this, you don't get those nukes. It automatically just goes away. Like it was all for nothing. This whole order is a entire thing or nothing. So it's best to start out building like five at a time until you get to roughly around say 30. And then after you've hit that number, like we now have one, we could go up to building say six or something because that only take a month and a half. So we wouldn't have to worry about getting nuked. So now that we have some nuclear material saved up, what you're going to do is go down here. This is going to be where you select your nuclear missile or uh, whatever tip missile you want to use for your ICBM. So I'm going to go ahead and select this one right here because it's the best one that we have available. And oh, by the way, the number in the bottom left is how many kilograms of nuclear material you're going to need. So it's 350. We have up to 1300. So I think we can build four. Nope, we can build three. So this number right here is how many weapons you're going to build or how many warheads you're going to build. So actually, I might be able to build four now. Uh, yay. After you've selected how many warheads you want to build, you're going to click this little button right here. And that's how you start building the warheads. So after it's getting down here to zero and perfect. So now we have some nuclear warhead stockpile under missile production. Still have 21 days, so we're not going to do that yet. But under your nuclear policy, now that you have a nuclear, sorry, got ahead of myself. After you produce your first nuke, you need to do this under your decisions tab. 
go to complete nuclear program and click it. That's only available after you produce your first nuke, by the way, or your uh, warhead. So now that we've done that, we can go over here to secret nuclear program. You can either click this little button here to get rid of it, or you can click it and, okay, maybe not. <laughs> uh, you can click it. Uh, where is it going? Why is it not doing it? There we go. It took it a second for it to pop up. You're gonna click nuclear power. So now that you've done that, you're technically in nuclear power. You're gonna go over here to nuclear doctrine, choose whatever you want. I usually go with whatever gives me the option to do first strike alert everything. Now, under here, you're gonna click, if you have it, nuclear triad. If you don't have the power to do this because it requires political power, start with nuclear navy, land-based missiles, nuclear air force. Because you see, you have to have these to use nukes. Like, it's just, for some reason, if we go under here and try to actually select it with just that, we won't be able to. So you have to have all three. So uh, I think land-based nuclear missile, if I remember right, is the one that allows us to use ICBMs, I think. Yeah. So it's basically like allowing Air Force to do it, allowing missiles to do it, etc. So you'll really want to go for all three or preferably the thing up there earlier, nuclear triad, that gives you access to all three. So we're just gonna get rid of those two, click this, and where did nuclear triad go? Oh, now nuclear triad's gone, oh, oh there it is. So now we're allowed to do all the nukes. And you could do this too, I guess, but you're not really testing anymore, but yeah. That's basically how you get nuclear production going. I'm gonna do a second video on how to actually use the missiles and everything because it's a whole nother process and a whole nother thing. And this is just to get people understanding how to actually use the nuclear technology and how to produce it yourself. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and hopefully this is gonna help you understand how to produce nuclear material in Hearts of Iron 4 Millennium Dawn. Thank you so much for watching. I will see y'all next time. Stay awesome.